from WNY News, this is First Morning Weather. Welcome back on your Friday morning filled with lots of sunshine, a few clouds and some patchy dense fog for some in Tioga, Pennsylvania this morning. Other than that, you might be going up to Watkins Glen enjoying the view this morning. If you are doing so, though, some of you are waking up to a chilly start for some. Some of us right now in the mid to upper 40s, others of us getting into the low mid 50s to start off your Friday morning. 52 in Tioga, Pennsylvania. We're also at 52 in Watkins Glen, 49 in Aaron, and currently 47 in Westfield, Pennsylvania. But don't worry, those temperatures will be warming up as the day goes on, and we are expecting a sunny day to end out the week. Not too much happening on satellite radar overnight. We did have a few higher level clouds out there, but as you can see, those are really dissipating this morning, exiting out to our south and Maybe you're going to celebrate on Friday. I mean, it's the end of the week. Definitely got to get some ice cream in with temperatures sitting at 80 degrees by this afternoon, right around average with lots of sunshine to end out the week. However, as we go into tonight, clouds begin to increase due to our next system moving out of the Midwest. Right now, it's bringing a lot of showers to Minneapolis, heading out towards Chicago this morning. And this system will bring the potential for some showers and thunderstorms beginning in the early morning hours on your Saturday. So let's take a look at tomorrow. Right now, the Storm Prediction Center does have us in a slight risk for severe weather. That's a two out of five. And those main threats looking to be gusty winds and even some possibilities of torrential downpours. That could lead to some localized flash flooding. And we're prepared to keep you guys updated, not only today, but into tomorrow. So keep with your first warning weather team on air online. We'll have all the updates there. Let's track it out for you, though. Starting off at 5 p.m. on your Friday, we are looking pretty dry. You'll notice that cloud cover, though, increasing overnight. And by Saturday morning, especially after midnight, we are going to see our first run of showers. Heavy at times indicated by the yellows and oranges on future track. We see a bit of a break, but right about lunchtime, we see our next round of showers and thunderstorms moving in. And the greatest possibility for severe weather will be into the afternoon and evening hours. So we start to see it going into lunchtime. And I would say about 5 p.m. is when we do see that longer line of showers and thunderstorms making its way through the twin tiers. And some of these thunderstorms could contain once again some gusty winds and heavy downpours. So just be aware we are going to see a few of these showers hanging out into a Sunday temperatures at 84. We're in the mid 70s to kick off early next week with lots of sunshine. Our next chance for showers looking to be on Wednesday, but as of now with the 4th of July looking pretty dry.